My dream was always to be a photographer, even when I was a little kid. I think at its best, photojournalism and documentary photography is about you know, sharing the universality of experience with people and getting people's um, you know, lives and, and troubles and pleasures out into the world. I'm a crusader for information, for what I perceive to be truth. Everybody has a different truth, but I feel like we have to push for, for sort of truth and the dissemination of information. That's what keeps all societies free, and I think photography is part of that. You know, sometimes after the, the wars had died down um, and I would stay on, I would try to find people in quiet moments and sit with them and talk to them. Um, and I was interested in getting to know people and I was really interested in this idea of looking into people's eyes. I found them working by the side of the road in this, um, basically in this brick quarry, this factory where they make bricks all day. It's sort of an outdoor factory. And I stopped and talked to them and, and what I found out was that they're essentially slaves. I mean, they, they incur these debts to the owners. They can never leave. And the children inherit the debts of the parents. So they're not free to go off to school, to work another job. Um, they're literally, it's modern day slavery. And um, spending a day with these folks and getting to know them and listen to them was just an incredible experience, really emotional. I think, I think we have to be about community. I mean, if we're going to leave anything behind, if we're going to you know, feel good about ourselves at the end of the day, um, I think we do that by sharing with people, by educating people, by helping to have people educate us. You know? So it's about where we live. You know? it's, just, it's about making the world better. I know it sounds like a cliche, but it's really about making the world better. Did I answer your question?